and thank you for your interest in our products. Movis has a wide range of proportional joysticks. A proportional joystick works like a gas pedal in a car. The further you move the joystick away from the center position, the faster the wheelchair will move. When you return the joystick to the center position, the wheelchair stops driving. The most common proportional control is a traditional hand joystick. But as they are not suitable for everyone, there is a wide variety of joysticks available. A proportional input device can be placed virtually anywhere as long as the user has control access to, ideally, four directions of movement. It is also very important for safety reasons that the user always has access to an on and off switch. At Movis, we are faced with the reality that there is no universal protocol for power wheelchairs. However, we try to be as universal as possible. That is why our joysticks are available in different versions, Arnet and Omni. The Arnet bus cable can be connected directly to the Arnet electronics. The Omni version has a sub-D9 pole connector and a 3.5 mm jack connection. It can be connected directly to a Curtis Wright Omni or Omni 2 display, but it can also be connected to other electronics, such as Curtis Electronics and dynamic controls with additional interfaces. For some joysticks, there are different handles available and all can be ordered as spare parts, if they are damaged or would remain dirty. Under normal use, only regular cleaning with a damp cloth is required. All joysticks have the possibility to add two switches. A red connector to power the wheelchair on and off, a yellow connector to go through the modes of the chair. There is also a LED indicator, which will start to flash in case of error, and the number of flashes indicates that error. Finally, they also have a mini USB connection to connect the joystick to our configurator software. All the inserts have rubber covers, and in case you are not using the connectors, please keep the protective covers in to avoid dust or moist to enter. The micro joystick is a very small proportional joystick which requires only 8.5 grams of force. The travel is only 3.3 millimeters. The joystick is designed for people with very poor muscle strength and limited movements. It is recommended for people with muscular or neuromuscular diseases, such as muscular dystrophies, muscular atrophies, advanced stages of ALS, and so on. The micro joystick comes with two different handles, a little ball and a cup. Depending on how you will control the joystick and where you will place it, one or the other might be better suited. Because there is so little force required, it can be moved by finger, chin, and even the lips. The joystick itself is sealed, so no water or debris can enter. The ball doesn't roll over, which allows for better control. And the joystick is also very durable. For instance, we made sure that the little rod underneath the handle and the cable connection are very durable. Because the micro joystick is so little, there is a separate interface available. On the interface, you see the two input jacks for switches. The red one is to power the wheelchair on and off, the yellow one is to go through the modes of the chair. Next to it, you see the mini USB connection and then finally the LED light. The interface has to be placed with the connectors facing down to protect it from moisture. The package includes a mounting ring, a half clamp, a bolt and a small rod of 6 mm diameter. It can be mounted anywhere, of course depending on how you want to control it. It can be integrated in a tray, on a harness, on a manual or electric swing-away arm, underneath the armrest and so on. The default forward position is indicated by an arrow on the bottom of the joystick. The multi-joystick is the solution for people who want something in between our most sensitive micro-joystick and the more standard versions. With only 50 grams of force required, it is still considered a sensitive proportional joystick. The travel is 8 mm. It comes with a ball as handle. The multi-joystick is recommended for people with tetraplegia or neuromuscular diseases such as ALS or MS. The multi-joystick can be controlled with the chin, hands or fingers and can be mounted anywhere the user has easy access to. The joystick itself is sealed, so no water or debris can enter. You see here that you can insert two connectors directly on the joystick. The red one is to power the wheelchair on and off, the yellow one is to go through the modes of the chair. There is also a separate interface. This has to be placed with the connectors facing down to protect it from moisture. 
you see two input jacks for switches. Those are a duplication of the ones on the joystick itself. Next to it, you see the mini USB connection and then finally the LED light. The package includes a half clamp, bolt and a small rod of 6 mm diameter. From this, you can mount it on a manual or multi-swing, on a harness or anywhere else on the wheelchair with our quick-to-mount mounting system. The default forward position is when the jacks are at the right-hand side, as seen from the point of view of the person in the wheelchair. Here we have the all-round and the all-round light joystick. They are both compact versions of standard electronic wheelchair joysticks. On the outside, they look quite similar. You will see that the light version is a bit shorter than the standard version. The standard version requires 250 grams of force and has a travel of 20 millimeters. Whereas the light version requires 120 grams of force and has a travel of 7 millimeters. They have been developed for all-round use and are suitable for the major part of wheelchair users. In the case of the light version, those users might have lost some muscular force or mobility. The all-round joysticks are most often controlled then by the hands and fingers. Sometimes it is also used as a tendon joystick behind the wheelchair. The joystick comes with a standard handle. There is a ball available for these joysticks as well, and then it can be used as a chin joystick. As you can see, they come in a compact housing. The input jacks are built in. In the default forward position, the USB connection points towards the user. You can unscrew the covers of the satellite twister connections and place them in. This can be useful when you want to place the twisters very close to the handle, for instance, or when you want to control it with your chin. Just like the other joysticks, they can be mounted anywhere where the user has easy access to. Often, they are integrated in a tray or a flat surface using four bolts. We have a mounting ring available, but you can also mount it on a rod of 6 or 8 mm diameters. You see that the bottom clamp has an indent to make that possible. This way, it can easily be mounted on a swing away arm as well. Here we have the heavy-duty joystick. This can be a good solution if you are looking for a joystick that is extremely durable, is designed to withhold force, and that can be used by people with excessive force development. It is designed for people with spasticity, dystonia or extreme hypertonicity. You need 650 grams of force for deflection and the amplitude is 40 millimeters. It can be operated by hand, but it can also be mounted for control by foot sometimes. It is easy to mount with the two bolts that you receive with it. If you want to mount it in a flat surface, there is also an optional heavy-duty mounting ring available. The input jacks are built in, and the default forward position is when the USB connection, hidden here, points towards the user. You can also turn an Arnett standard, CGSM2 or Curtis standard joystick into a heavy-duty joystick. You have to do a modification of the sensor then, add a reinforcement ring and attach it to the original joystick module. The heavy duty joystick comes with a standard handle. If you want to place a custom handle, you could open up the rubber cover, use a wrench to unscrew the tip and replace it with your own. Always make sure though that you place the rubber cover back as it prohibits debris and moisture from entering the joystick. Besides the parameters that you can set through the programmers of the electronics of your wheelchair, there are some additional settings possible to make the joystick better adjusted to your needs. With the USB cable, you can connect your Movis device to a PC on which you have downloaded the latest version of our configurator software. It is available on our website. You have to log in into the dealer level. You'll need a password for that, which you can obtain by contacting us. Click on the COM port to access the parameters. There are four parameter groups available for the joysticks. The first is the road compensation. It is especially useful for those who use our sensitive joysticks, the micro and the multi joystick, but even more for people using a chin control. It is useful and important for everyone driving on uneven roads. It truly really is a unique feature in the world that only works with the Movis joysticks and is freely available. You just have to enable it in the configurator. 
So what is it and how does it work? A lot of people have difficulties to maintain the control of the wheelchair when they are driving in an outdoor environment with uneven roads. If you are driving there without the road compensation, it is not easy to control your chair. You have to adjust your position the entire time and you are certainly not stable. This makes it difficult and sometimes even unsafe. If you enable the road compensation feature, the user doesn't have to reduce the speed of the wheelchair himself when driving on a difficult road. The wheelchair itself will automatically adjust to the situation. There is an accelerometer inside the joysticks and when it vibrates, it will send a signal to the wheelchair to slow down to a predefined parameter. The function of the road compensation is safety and efficiency for the end user. When the terrain is better, it will slowly go up again to the speed it was driving in before. So for instance, if we have someone who is using a joystick integrated in a tray, he can continue to keep his joystick at maximum without losing control. This will stabilize the position of his fingers, as well as his global position through the creation of muscle chains. When he reaches a better surface, the wheelchair will speed up again. In the section Compensation mode, you can choose whether or not you want to activate the road compensation. For the Omni joysticks, you have one profile, which you can set to on or off or manual. For an Arnet joystick, you can choose another option per profile. You enable it only for your outdoor profile then, for instance, and set another one to manual. If you set it to manual, the road compensation feature is only active when you perform a pattern. Nudge the joystick forward, backward, forward. You will hear a beep to say that it is activated. Furthermore, you can increase the dead band of the joystick. The dead band is a neutral zone around the joystick's center position where an accidental movement of the joystick will not be seen as a driving input. So the smaller the dead band percentage is, the more sensitive the joystick is. You can slightly increase the neutral zone around the joystick's center position from 5 to 10%. However, in most cases we advise to keep the default setting. Next, you can change the default forward position of the joystick with steps of 90 degrees. So, for instance, for the micro joystick, the arrow on the bottom indicates the default forward position. But with this setting, you can overrule that. Finally, the last parameter is the tilt setting. By default, this parameter is not active. The Movis joysticks can all detect a tilted angle. If you enable this parameter and you tilt the joystick more than 70 degrees in any direction, then the joystick becomes inactive. This functionality can be very useful when the joystick is integrated in a tilting surface or when it is placed on a swing away arm. If someone accidentally touches the joystick then, you're still safe. The tilt sensor response time is about one second. The joystick will become active again if the angle is less than 60 degrees. So we've shown you everything you need to know to use the joysticks and to customize them with our configurator software. As you install the joystick, please make sure that it is protected against bumps. Also check that the cabling is mounted in such a way that excessive wear and tear is avoided. In general, you just have to keep your device clean on a regular basis, but make sure that all wheelchairs and controls receive a yearly checkup by a qualified service engineer. If anything is damaged, please ask for our spare parts list to see if it can be replaced. If there is a problem with the device, the dealer can obtain a return merchandise authorization number to send the joystick back to us to investigate the problem. When installed and programmed correctly, you now have full access to the wheelchair through the joystick. You can drive, you can turn on the lights, use the horn and change the seating positions. Complete access through your joystick.